a 20 minute game zero increment just wanting to practice the is your king safe uh, concept for both me and my opponent so ascertaining who has the weakest area for potential attacks defending where appropriate and then or attacking where appropriate as well is their king safe is my king safe simplifying the concept even more uh, so the queen can defend the knight uh, well attack by coming across here we could always bring the knight all the way back i think that's probably what we're going to do or we could attack their bishop and then he takes and then we take yeah let's do that let's attack the bishop he always has this pawn here to catch up catch up on okay so they've moved out of the way pawn still there bishop still here we can now move here so I could move the knight across now attacking the pawn is his king safe never mind the pawn is the king safe is there something we can do bishop can attack here pawn drops pawn can take so that's quite meaty in its own right queen can squeeze in here so that's another attack area um taken with the queen now is my king safe at the moment it's not too bad um so what's the focal point was going to go here but now his queen is uh, con uh, controlling this fire rank queen could come here like we said but his bishop his queen is controlling here so that's not going to be too good if it came here it's the same thing so is his queen safe could push up onto the queen could bring the queen like we said here but his bishop will come and attack so that's no good okay let's do a small move and attack with the pawn onto the queen if they forget themselves or take the knight we take with the bishop so we believe the queen is not safe at that moment in time so trying to work it down a level so is the king safe no but we can't get to it at the minute so next piece is the queen is that safe answer is no currently because a smaller piece can attack it with support from a minor piece so the queen's gone back so it does bring again the question of is their bishop safe yes in a way because if we go here then he's just going to come here then i suppose our bishop would attack it or the knight could defend is that slow process is their king safe i really want to keep them busy white square bishop dark square bishop just come out could actually take the pawn with the knight i envisage a problem we go here then his queen comes there suppose we'd have to bring our queen here then he drops the pawn yeah let's see who he's got a two on one he's got a two on one on the pawn here is that something that we need to worry about could bring our bishop here protecting and obviously he's going to save his pawn here i think that's what we'll do poor pawn wasn't safe so you can envisage either this or in fact developing the knight protecting the pawn here that makes sense so my king doesn't feel safe because i'm oh, he's gone for the i'm just bringing the knight here i don't have any issues with doubling my pawns on this side i didn't expect that actually i thought he'd be developing his knight out It can be so difficult when you're thinking of well is this safe is that safe and and you can cover all the bases and then still the opponent sneaks through somewhere because you've overly protected an area where and then you've opened up weaknesses it's actually captured that like i said i don't mind doubling the pawns here so that's okay he must be developing that i hope he doesn't because we can take So 
so there's a good lack of development of his pieces at the moment so his king isn't safe I'm chomping at the bit to get to his king somehow like throwing these little things here but getting this bishop here getting castled all seems a long process so at each stage got to look at is the king safe it's protected with the pawn instead um, I'm gonna go with like we said here just to make space for the bishop get that out into the action because it can still cause a, some potential damage of sorts let's bring the bishop like we said that knight move is not really threatening anything got to be careful I don't trap my poor knight and I think it probably can happen anytime soon as well but I can actually come here attacking a pawn it's attacking a pawn but the queen is doing all this defensive work in the back and the knight is out there must be something here I'm castling first king safety and then squeezing my queen in here it's nothing big though because the pawn just drops so I might just hang on but if it does drop I take the knight so that's something to think about so we've got the bishop angling here, we've got the knight angling here, we've got potential for the queen coming here if he doesn't block it down with his pawn or something else miraculous happens because his king isn't safe but he could castle couldn't he? well no he can't because the bishop's there blocking the passageway oh and he's blocked the way so he's going to be taking the bishop he's blocked the way, can I not bring my bishop here? To make it a bit of a nuisance and then he's going to drop the pawn down onto the knight oh he's spoiling the whole show now knight can come here attacking the rook rook goes into hiding into this corner hmm should i just attack the knight anyway attack the knight there and then this pawn is being attacked by the rook let's do that just to see if we can open up the rook on this line to get more pieces facing towards the king knight takes, pawn takes and it's come down so we can basically just go here attacking the rook or we could go here attacking the pawn but that's no good really I'm going to attack the rook like we said and then we can take this knight off the board with the pawn unless of course he's looking at keeping his rook here but then this pawn is blocking his way so it's not got much power on in front of our king at the moment so there's too much stuff happening but we're trying to threaten a weak king you know is their king safe is our king safe that was the whole ethos of us actually opening up in this game so it was all basically like we were doing the end game opening right at the very beginning we were in end game mode is their king safe is that is our safe we targeted the next higher piece which was the queen and then from attacking the queen they had to go into defense mode so then we then we're able to still keep the pressure on the king area so he's attacking our bishop here we can take the rook off the board so we'll up the exchange he gets it for free but then do we get at the rook for free is there anything else that we can do before we do that exchange it's a higher piece for a lesser piece isn't it so we take knight takes and then the knight takes the bishop again oh let's go for that we get this knight anyway so we get the extra piece plus an exchange up I'm just seeing if there's no way of getting to that uh, yeah there's no way of getting to his king directly he could still escape and get a castling situation he does capture nothing else doing capture here I suppose he just goes and captures the bishop I want to really open this up but then if I open that up his queen's coming here our queen won't get to this spot oh he's blocking it off anyway if we bring the knight down do we have a safe haven yeah I suppose we can sit here but his knight is blocking off here 
so we can come here because the bishop's protecting okay yeah fair, fair enough well we attempted at least we've obliterated, obliterated a little bit of the kingside area he's still got pawns and stuff around there but we're highly developed as best possible anyway with the, two, the knight and the bishop but we need to get the queen in the game can't even come this way because the queen is blocking off that side can't go this way because it's blocked off so there might be method in their madness actually because our, our rooks aren't in the game their bishop and their rook aren't in but they'll be looking to queenside castle I think so they have to make movements to afford that probably thinking of fearing Cheto in but maybe they don't want to lose a pawn so yeah making space for his bishop to come out and do something so he's challenging the knight so we could bring the knight here and attack his knight then it opens up our pawn can our queen come and defend that pawn so we come there knight takes pawn takes and yeah i suppose our queen can sit here behind the pawn let's attack the queen before we do that is our king safe look at the position of the queen if he pushes down we we can take yeah so there's no problems let's attack the queen Our queen can support the pawn, or the bishop can sit in the centre and support the pawn. But it's doing a nice job blocking this pawn off here. I don't see a problem with the queen holding court in the centre here. If he does take, that is. So it's been a tricky one, but hopefully, fingers crossed, the, the targeting that we've done in terms of pressure in the king area is the king is their king weak was our king weak is it protected can it move is it being blocked oh here we go now so it's looking to come down here is there a major attack down here that we need to worry about can we take the queen can we move the king we can't move the king out here so is there something that's coming in, in this direction to block our pawn is blocking our way but it doesn't have anything really to support other than this pawn that could come down but then we can simply take but even if that pawn did push we'd be able to just take his queen so what is actually happening oh i think maybe they're thinking if we don't move the knight and their knight doesn't have any protection so we could take the knight for free while we're doing all that discussion I was working my way across the board of what the pieces could do I suppose that's what you should do in the calculation you know try and not be tunnel vision in looking at what you're doing on the board and what is actually happening on the board and you can see some gold sometimes my focal point was on what damage can this have do to my king but because it doesn't have any support it doesn't look like a right lot so our knight doesn't have any protection could push onto the bishop with the pawn or we could just bring the knight back up again but what is it doing if when it's coming back up it's attacking this pawn twice it's defending twice uh, i think i'm going to push onto the bishop because that's a little bit too defensive the knight just sitting there and we're not really going to attack anything it's already been there once let's try and make it do something else oh, oh i missed it didn't i his queen's defending the bishop oh let's not slip now oh that's disappointing let's come here like we said the queen was coming in the center anyway earlier on when it was going to support the pawn here now it's supporting the knight so we'll have to bring the knight back again oh he's going for a discovered checky type things on my queen i'm going to take this pawn why not let's take the pawn he's going to take our knight with the bishop he's deliberating i'm just going to get rid of pieces now not this one sorry this one here so I'll challenge his rook so that we can maybe start swarming his king area a bit 
because it's getting a bit too fancy dancing all over the place let's go here tuck the rook probably would expect the rook to take because he's got a bit of pressure with my queen facing towards his king area the bishop and the queen don't have a combination attack that worries me at the moment if this pawn drops this pawn can always take so the queen can't checkmate me by itself can he come round on the back mm. by that time it will be too late because I think the damage will be done at the top and we do have a white square bishop that can join in the party as well so let's tra oh he's not trading he's relying so much on this queen here this queen is a bit bothersome we do have a two on one here and I think because we've got more pieces I think we might just take that and risk it for a biscuit let's take with the two on one and they're probably thinking I don't want to exchange so I'm just going to run a little bit I'm going to hide here make you work for it or even here actually because he's tar targeting this pawn so what do we have then from that point start squared king check so he's blocking everything off it's all looking pretty neat and there looking really focused now so it's at this point got to focus on is my king safe can my king actually move once they've gone here where we can bring the rook here but then his bishop can take the pawn then we can put a check on his king and it's not actually gone there so he's going for a two on one attack in this pawn i suppose uh, we could attack his rook seems like something to be positive about I'm actually going to attack the rook with the bishop like I could say we just want to get stuff off the board um, and hopefully the opponent will make their king area weak for us to take some advantage of whilst they're looking to snap up pawns can I move my king I can move my king freely now across here and here so at the minute there's no issues, I can't see any fancy techniques or tactics. You can see this, well we can see that, and then that will be checkmate anyway. So he's moved out of the way, so he's still wanting, he's chomping at the bit to get this pawn. But also, he's looking at taking this here with a check. I can afford to lose a piece. I could actually go here with the queen you know queen takes bishop takes rook takes and then it's a rook and a bishop against two rooks i could be cheap and do that i don't have any issues with being cheap this bishop doesn't have any protection on it so if the queen did take and the bishop did take and the rook took then we would be able to take his bishop off the board so i'm actually going to be cheap But knowing the player, he's probably not going to do that and he might be looking to come this side and start working down on here with his rook and his queen. Will be will it be a tempo down though? Yeah, so our queen comes across, then we can oh if the queen comes across, we'll just take his rook. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so it's looking a bit tense now. We've talked through all the calculations with the... Oh, what's this? Secret stealth move now. If I take his queen, take his queen. Ah, oh, the bishop's going to take though, aren't they? Or if I take the bishop... If I take the bishop with the rook... If his queen takes... And our queen takes the rook with a check on his king that's almost getting near to strangulation if we take the queen bishop takes i could then just get his other rook off the board because i can bring my rook up here i'm just going to take the bishop takes then we can go here check rook takes 
bishop takes, king takes, and then it's rook against the bishop. He might be very good with his bishop, so maybe I might need to <laughs> hang fire on that, maybe. I think the bishop might... What? Oh, he's going for fancy stuff, isn't he? So if I take and then his rook takes with a check, he might as well have just taken with his bishop, which he's going to do now. So I'm just moving the king out of the way. Not be. Oh, I don't believe what he's just done. He took with the rook. He should. Why didn't he not take it with the bishop? All that thought process. One of these pawns has to move then, doesn't it? Because we'll be just going here. Well, I know the game's not over and i still got to make sure my king can move. My king can move to this square. I've got protection with my rook here. Yeah, so he has to do something like that. Uh, <laughs> so I could just still carry on doing the move for now with the check that gives me enough time to develop my rook he's really wanting to go here so he wants to come down to get do this stuff but that's looking a bit tight this pawn's blocking off the passageway so in essence when we come here could take 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 but i end up losing all my rooks wouldn't i I'll have to maybe box a bit clever there So I've got ages to go, yeah, I mean they're on 7 minutes, I'm on 11 minutes, so that's plenty of time. But it looks like the focal point of attacking the unsafe kings seems to have paid off. Which is the answer process really, you know, basically trying to attack the king as best possible, the king area, the pieces around the king then the, the higher ranking pieces so he's making space for his king now so at least his king can move a little bit back and we do have the white square bishop which can put a check on but obviously you see this is what we could do because we could bring this bishop here putting a check on the king where does the king go he's looking to go back he's trying to get safety here if we then went with the rook yeah attacking the king King's not close enough, so we then win the rook. So the rook will have to take, then we take, and then it can go up or down, can the king. But then we'll have a rook and a bishop against the king. So I think that's what we're going to do. If the rook takes the bishop, let me just have a look again, because we. Da -da -da, if the rook takes the bishop, then we can go swarming up. And the king can't go anywhere because it's not got to this square. Aha, uh -huh. let's do that. So if they've got some stuff, they'll go here. It gives them a bit of... Ah, he's got some stuff. <laughs> but then obviously he loses the rook. And then it's the rook, again, rook and bishop against the king. And then we do, oh, we're going to take any, okay. For a split second there, for was it stalemate? Oh, and they've resigned. Very good, very good game to um, practice the... Unsafe King concept. Yeah, so it all went strange right from the very beginning, really. But because we were looking at... this concept you know simply capturing the pawn and then attacking another piece with a smaller piece so a higher piece with a lesser piece always seems to work quite nicely so then we've got the reaction there we've got the opening of the bishop as well so the bishop could now protect the knight queen came down that looked quite nice but then a smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually gets a better reaction so they do react in terms of losing tempo so they're losing a little bit of tempo uh, especially with this queen because they're not really developing their pieces 
um, we're focused on trying to get our king safe is our king safe is the opponent's king safe as well so then they're moving the bishop again attacking the king but is there any support with that particular attack and then they're supporting a pawn with a pawn not developing a piece probably would have been better with the knight coming out but I, what do i know you know um, knight coming out supporting because then it's developing a piece and they bring the other side knight out we develop our bishop looking to attack the weak area around the king because the king is not safe so that was the focal point that is the answer let's attack an unsafe king rather than fencing with the smaller pieces so we castle now our king's safe so we're feeling fairly happy but we're looking at what can they actually do against our king now they bring the knight down and we say well let's what do you want to do let's open up this file for our rook if you're going to take the bishop let's get more pieces attacking this weak area yep with sights of getting our queen here and stuff like that so that was an interesting situation but they didn't go for that so that allowed us to bring our knight in to attack their rook a higher piece and then they brought their knight down attacking our lesser piece so we decided let's take the rook and opening up space trying to get space towards their king area which they do they open up space but we couldn't take with the queen because their queen and their bishop have a lovely defense mechanism but their king is now so airy and open so we can bring the knight around attacking the queen and taking the knight off the ball because there was no protection on it so now at this point here we're trying to make inroads in towards their king they castle but the castling now has left their pieces unprotected so they capture our knight but was it for a better position on the board it was the knight wasn't it yeah they captured the knight but was it for a better position on the board now we're attacking their king area so this is why we can allow these types of sacrifices because we're looking to attack the king area which is weak and unprotected now we can attack the pawn because it's um we've got two pieces on there they run away with their queen and now we can bring the bishop in attacking the rook because it's weakly protected by the king all the while all we're focusing on is the space around the king trying to put pressure on that area as best possible with our pieces yeah secretly looking to come here if the rook decided to come down maybe looking to put pressure on the bishop here all these little tiny things just sort of like trying to build up maybe doubling up the rooks here or doubling them up here so little things just in the background playing depending on what the opponent did so the opponent actually moved their rook beautiful sight of an attack here which was quite good and that's the whole idea again about the answer process if you're not wary of it and you're not looking at is your king safe you're not going to do defensible moves so we decided well the best thing to do is actually just to exchange because we're potentially going to win the bishop out of that and then they did this bishop pawn move here not in my calculation so we take the queen off the board they capture and I didn't want to get into the remit of um, okay yes we capture oops is it not doing it uh, da, 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 da. Nope. oh it's not an analysis is it <laughs> okay I didn't want to get into capturing and then the rook capturing the queen with a check on I thought well I don't really want them to win any tempo let's just keep it nice and safe is my king safe if I capture it is it safe no it's not because I'm then getting attacked so let's hide behind their palm I can still move so they capture and I thought they would have captured with the bishop but they captured with their um, rook so now we can come put a bit of pressure on the king and that's all she wrote is my king safe is their king safe 